going on, aliens? I'm Mike Rosa, and today I got to the top five unilateral shoulder exercises. So we're focusing on one side at a time. Now, real quick before we get into this video, make sure you download my workout app called Exercise. It is a free download in the app and Play Store. It can generate thousands of workouts, so make sure you check it out and get them gains. But let's not waste any more time, hop right back into this video. So as we go through these five exercises, the purpose is we're trying to work on fixing a muscle imbalance. So if one shoulder may be bigger, one shoulder may be stronger, these exercises can significantly help you. And if you don't have a muscle imbalance, these exercises are still extremely beneficial because they can help improve weak points that's gonna translate over to improved compound lifts. So let's get right into these five exercises. Now as we go through these exercises, if you're doing these to fix a muscle imbalance, it's important to consider that if it's a strength imbalance or a size imbalance, they are different cases. And right now I'm gonna link you to a card above to my how to fix muscle imbalances video where I go in depth on the rep ranges and set ranges, weights used on how to fix that muscle imbalance per specific case. So make sure you check that video out. But guys, we're getting into that first exercise, which is gonna be the one arm standing dumbbell shoulder press. So what I want you to do, grab the dumbbell, and I want you to do this exercise standing, not sitting. You can do it seated, but I recommend standing because if your weaker side tends to fail, you can add a little extra push. I want you to keep it strict, but you can add a little extra push to get a little extra into the actual movement if you need to. So just like a normal shoulder press, I like to put my hand on my core just to make sure I'm engaging it as much as possible because as we're standing, you have to stabilize with it. Now you're gonna bring the dumbbell all the way down to the shoulder, full range of motion. Coming all the way up and come a little bit over the head to get that full engagement of the shoulders. All the way down, all the way up. Now, if you're doing this for a size difference or a strength difference to fix a muscle imbalance, I still always recommend you do both sides. And the reason being, as you work on getting a weak point to catch up to the to the stronger point, you don't want that stronger point to start lagging and become that weaker point. So you always wanna build, no matter if you're doing different sets or reps to fix that imbalance. And guys, if you're doing this just to fix weak points, obviously you wanna build symmetrically, so you're doing each side no matter what. And just the left side, all the way up, all the way down. On to the next exercise. On to that second exercise now, which is gonna be the one arm leaning dumbbell side raise. Now the reason I recommend to do this exercise leaning is because you can slightly increase your range of motion in a controlled manner, as well as it forces you to keep the dumbbell in front of your body, which is gonna engage that side delt even more optimally. So get a pole, some kind of surface, where you can get a controlled lean. You wanna make sure your body's sturdy and positioning, and you're gonna come slightly across the body just to get a full range of motion when you come back down, and then come all the way up. Now, when you come up, I like to come slightly above my shoulder height. I'm not coming all the way up like this. Slightly above the shoulder height, about right there, guys. And you're coming back down and repeating that for as many reps as you're gonna do. And of course, guys, like I said, you still wanna do the other side, no matter what your goals are with doing this exercise. Boom, on to that next exercise. Onto that third exercise now, which is gonna be the one arm bar front raise. Now I'm just using an easy bar as an example in this video, but you can use a straight bar, a barbell, whatever is convenient to you. What you're gonna do is grab it in the exact center of the bar. Now this is because you have to stabilize with the shoulder as you're coming up, guys. You really have to squeeze it the entire time and it's gonna highly stimulate that front delt as you're raising the bar. So, coming all the way up, right to above forehead level and coming back down. Now you notice, if I come off to the side at all, look at that, the bar is gonna completely fall over. You have to ensure that you're having your hand in the center of that bar, and as you raise, you're keeping as much tension on that front delt as possible. Coming up, all the way. And that's really gonna stimulate that front delt. And if you've never done this kind of exercise before, by adding this balance aspect to the exercise, it really makes it more difficult. And this is why I prefer doing it this way if you're trying to work on a weak point or if you're trying to fix that muscle imbalance. You can do your standard dumbbell front raise, but I think this takes it to the next level and requires a lot more stimulation. So give this exercise a try if you've never done it before, and we're gonna head on over to that fourth exercise. Onto that fourth exercise now, which is gonna be the one arm cable bent reverse fly. And for this exercise, you're targeting the rear delts, guys. Now, the way you position yourself is whatever way your body is facing, you're grabbing the cable with the arm that's furthest away and coming across the body. 
And when you do that, you wanna make sure you're far enough away from the cable so every rep you're not doing this. You want to step away, get a nice base with your feet. Now, you want to really make sure that every single rep, you feel your shoulder blade being pinched in the back, and that's how you're ensuring you're activating those rear delts. So, you're coming across the body, as high as you can, getting as much activation at rear delts as possible, and coming back down all the way, let that arm come across the body, and then repeat the motion. Really feel that shoulder blade being pinched, squeeze those rear delts as hard as possible, get that full engagement. You don't want to be upright because then you start recruiting a lot more of that side delt and you don't want to be just this bent over it because then again you're recruiting that side delt. You want to have a really bent over position, try to keep that back as neutral as possible, coming across the body and then squeezing that rear delt as hard as possible guys. And then again, both sides. So I definitely recommend you give this exercise a try if you've never done it before. This is one of my favorite rear delt exercises. Now let's go on to the fifth one. Finishing off with the fifth exercise, which is gonna be the cable rotation. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do this internally and externally, and this is rotator cuff specific work. If you guys do not specifically train your rotator cuffs, I cannot preach this enough. It's incredibly important, and I highly suggest you start doing it. So many workout programs lack rotator cuff training, and it's one of the best injury prevention methods, and it assists in all of your presses. So I highly suggest, I'll say it again, highly suggest, you start doing rotator cuff specific work. You don't have to do a ton, but do some of it every single week, guys, and you're gonna see a huge difference. Now, I'll start externally rotating, guys. What you wanna do is pin your elbow to the side of your body, and then you're gonna rotate out. You're focusing on coming outward now with the movement. You're coming as far as you can. You're not using heavy weights for this exercise, guys. You're focusing on a controlled movement. And then since I'm already in this position, I'll switch hands, and now we're going to that internal rotation. So again, pin the elbow to the side, and now instead of focusing on going outward, you're focusing on coming inward. It's very important that you do specific work like this, because if you are doing these exercises for a muscle imbalance, these specific exercises are gonna really help you have an increased mind-muscle connection for the muscles you're actually trying to work. It's gonna help you basically get your shoulders into a position for other exercises that are gonna be more optimal in your shoulder recruitment. And like I said, if you're doing this for weak points, <laughs> rotator cuff work is significantly gonna make you stronger and just help in all your other lifts that involve any bit of shoulder activity. So definitely start doing rotator cuff training and this is one of my favorite exercises to do one handed at a time. So I hope you guys like this video, and if so, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and click that notification bell next to subscribe so you never miss a new video upload from me. Take advantage of these unilateral exercises. Even if you're not working on improving a weak point or fixing muscle imbalance, they're great accessory movements that are gonna correlate over to all increased compound movements. So I highly suggest you start doing some unilateral work into your training if you aren't already. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, peace.